Hi guys, today I'm going to do a photo card organizing video for you. As you can see, I have a lot to put away. I'm excited. Okay, so let's get started. We do have a twice uh, GQ Japanese card to put away. This is the only thing I have to put away in this binder. You might notice I have changed the layout for this quite a lot and I should be filming a photo card collection video soon. <laughs> I say soon, but I don't know when I'm gonna film it. If we put this in here, Perfect, so I now have all of Jihyo's solo cards. Well, I have all of the Japanese release cards actually, so I'm very happy about that. I have the full sets, I just need to get the alternatives for these. And I think there's one for like one of the earlier ones as well. But otherwise, I'm happy with my twice collection. It's very up to date actually, so that's good. I kid you not, these binders are like, they're all full to the brim. So yeah, I don't really know how long these are going to last. I'm going to need a couple of new binders, I think, to even out what I have in each at the moment. So if I skip to Itzy. So from my free albums, I pulled a solo card for each of the members I collect. So that's really lucky, to be honest. Uh, I did also pull a Yeji solo card, as well as a double for this unit. So if I put away these cards first... Great, so I've put some feathers in for the others. And then here, I will have my unit page. I have the Magni line. And because I only collect three members, it works out I only have nine unit cards to collect. Whereas I guess the other unit card will be the Yuna and Yeji one, which I won't collect. But if I do pull it, I might just keep it and put it on the back. So I'll just put some more feathers in. So like that. I don't know if I mentioned before, I put the blue ones in for the cards that I know I need to collect. And then if they have, like if I'm up to date with an album, I just put the white feathers in. I just find that that's the easiest way for me to remember, like when I'm like flicking through the binder, where I need to collect members. Moving on to this section, I have all of the bigger cards and also the pre-order benefits. I'm not too sure how to do this because these, if I put this in, like overlaps you can see well you can't really see but it overlaps what i'm thinking i'll do is i'll cut out some blank a4 paper to put like in the back so i can double side them uh which i'll do now but i'll add the paper later these are the cover cards by the way so there's only one group version so i'm gonna have that at the bottom and then this will just be blank and then my plan is is to have three pre-order sets and a cover card per like this you'll see when i start putting cards in Okay, if I do a quick flip through, so there'll be like a blank piece there and then it'll be like in the middle of each card so you can't see the back. Then we have Yaji's Leah, so I don't have her cover card. Rujin, same with her. Young, same with her. I didn't pull any of my like who I'm collecting cover cards. And then Yuna, so I have hers. My plan was to collect OT5 for the cover cards because I don't think they're going to be too hard or too expensive to get. With Eyes One, I have all of these cards and also all of these inner cards, so I have a lot. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a bulk package of Blue Mice cards to arrive uh, because then I'll only need two, which is from this set. 
at the moment because there's going to be loads of different like non-album folk cards to collect i'm just having them keep like going down in rows of three just because if i have where i have in the other sections where i have like the white fillers to show it's a different album or whatever it is uh then this would just become a very 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 full binder more than it is right now so this came with the calendar set and then these three came with the photo book set so i'm gonna have these on a page and then have this on the next page so they're kept together i'm also gonna have these in the middle because they have the white backs and then i have selfie top and then far away at the bottom I really love these photo cards. They are so pretty. I love selfie cards in general. But these cards, I don't know, this concept is just so cute. I love braids. I love their hair colors. I just love everything. I also like with these sets, I can keep OT12. All of the groups I stan, I like all members. I obviously just can't afford to collect everyone. It looks freaking adorable so oh see i just love it and then and then let me grab some white fillers Yeah, so now when they release something else, I would just add it from here. Cute. Okay, so that's this part. And then, okay, now I'm going to put away my Japan trading cards for Yana. So I have five sets of these and yeah, let's just put them in. I am excited to actually start working on the Minju and Umbi equivalents of these now because of obviously current circumstances I am not going to be buying pretty much anything at the moment because I can't I don't kind of trust the post at the moment so I'll probably wait to hold off to buy them for this I'm also very happy with the Yenis that I have it looks so adorable in all these photos and yeah I really I'm really glad I finally got around to buying these I also am looking forward to using uh, Makari and also uh, Nekoyo Again, I might try another proxy as well just to see what like I think I've heard good things about Zen Market, so I'll probably try them out. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'm just really happy because I found quite like a lot of good deals on those websites, like on the Macari website, and it's something I've wanted to purchase from for a while now. It's just I've been kind of scared to use a proxy site, <laughs> but I've had like a really good experience with this, so I feel more confident using it now and. I'm kind of annoyed I didn't use it sooner because obviously they have really good deals on there. But yeah, this is Yana's Sugito Washitai set. I love this set. I love this comeback. This song is so good. The uh, Neko Ni Naratai is my favorite song. The I Wanna Be A Cat song. All the songs on this album is really good. And then moving on, I have Buenos Aires. I assume they're gonna have a Japanese comeback fairly soon. I'm thinking like in the summer sometime. Uh, just because they seem to have, well, they had more regular Japanese comebacks, I feel like, last year than the Korean, obviously. So, yeah, and seeing as there was a lot of delay, I assume they already probably have something kind of prepared. But I also think due to the circumstance of the virus at the moment, that any comeback in general is kind of, I guess a lot of them are probably, like, delaying it if they can. That's just my thoughts, I guess. But I just know that the Japanese comeback usually follows the Korean one quite soon, especially with Fai's one. This is, by the way, the first Japan family and also I have Umbis here behind this, you can see. So I just need to get Minju's. I say this every time, but I'm so glad that Yenna's colour was yellow because that is my favourite colour. Um, I really like purple too. Minju having white. <laughs> I can't. It's like Dahyun. Dahyun has white for her colour. I just think, is there not another colour you could have had? Especially with Minju with the like stick, you know they have the member accessories, so you can have a different 
handle and also a different strap I guess it is kind of thing. Inju's white it's just the same as having the light stick so it's kind of pointless. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't buy uh, Yenna's for that but I also can't really seem to find it anywhere. And then here we have the Eyes on Me Japan concert. This is the cutest set I swear to god. Like this photo card. So cute. I hate that some of these are like vertical and then some are horizontal. <laughs> I hate that in general. I hate horizontal photo cards with a passion. Even though she looks so adorable, so we can forgive her. And then it's like a change of outfit. I like it though because actually it's worked out on my page because it was for this way and then for this outfit. So I don't know if I've mentioned already, mentioned it in my haul video. There's only eight versions for each trading card set. So I've just put a blank space here. And then lastly, I have her vampire set. So they have, again, I mentioned this in my haul video, they have a uh, set each comeback. So they have one for Sukuto, Washtai, Buenos Aires, and Vampire. And then they had one for the first Japan fan meeting and the first Japan concert, the Eyes on Me concert. I like that there's like a concept set for each of the comebacks. Perfect, so I have all of these sets here. So if I just give a quick click through, so we have Sukito Washitai, Winners Ares, the first Japan family in for Umbi and Yena, and then the first Japan concert Eyes on Me, and then Vampire. And then moving on to the other members, I'm gonna put away all of the other candor and photo book photo cards. So I will put that last so after this. I like to put that before the group cards because any group cards I'll just add onto this page. And like I did on the other section, so because there's nine other members, it will fill the pocket completely, which is great. So I'm gonna have it in order the same as I had for the other sections. I have the selfie page first. Oh my god, I love this photo card set. These, this photo card set might be my favorite of Eyes ones so far, like in albums, non-albums, like everything. They're just so, so pretty. See this photo card set, stunning, we love to see it. That was so unenthusiastic, <laughs> I meant that but okay. <laughs> and then we will put the ID cards here. That's the handy thing about having these like white slips is I can add the ID cards or transparent cards to this uh, so you don't see through and also it kind of keeps it in place which is good. See, I love this. And then here we'll add these. So cute. See this whole like concept, love it. In my unboxing for this, I completely missed out that half of this was ARs. So these, am I right? Yeah, these are AR cards. The calendar is an AR, like, calendar. The pop-up things, like the two bucket lists. I did watch all the videos for that. They are freaking cute. But I'm kind of dumb for just not noticing that whilst I was doing it. Even though I saw the package contents, I just, it didn't click. And then I also realized when I was going through the photo book, I had like a bookmark in there. It didn't have like anything on it other than like their names. And let's put these here. I love these cards. I need to watch the uh, behind the scenes DVD that came with this. Hopefully it has subs. I'm not too sure because I haven't really looked at it. I love having like be able to fill up a page for everything. So we have this this, this, and this. 
I also like how Eyes One have their coloured backs. Like, look, here. Doesn't that look so pretty? That is all I have to put away today. Hope you guys are staying safe and well. Take care, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.